lots of spicy decks to go over this week. I know we're a few days late with this video, um, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. We have an agent deck here from Tro Breeze that's hit King of Games. Uh, we're using the Sanctuary in the Sky, Three's Radius to search it out. Uh, that allows Earth to be able to search for the Hyperion straight from your deck, so an extra way to get that out there. Pretty consistent with that, having basically five Sanctuaries and six ways to get the Hyperion. Also have the Uranus in there that you can do shenanigans with that, special summon that, change its level, uh, giving you access to uh, a number of different plays, but also the level duplication, letting you change up your levels for those XYZ as well as Synchro plays. Uh, it's pretty interesting, I know I, agents are kind of an old uh, fan favorite, so glad to see them do well. Uh, next is a sort of mishmash deck. Now this deck is combining Crystrons, Crystal Beasts, even have a couple of Mermail cards in here, uh, or three of them, as well as uh, the Psychic Wielder. So th this deck is just a mishmash, 27 monsters, um, taking advantage of the Transcendent Crystal skill. I believe that was one that was just buffed. Um, so yeah, Crystron's still still doing something. We see a few different um, versions of the deck having success here. This is a synchro version. Every every deck and every monster in the extra deck is a synchro monster. Um, as compared to this version of the deck, this is a, a top 16 meta weekly deck from Daniel YGO. Uh, this is a, a, a all XYZ monsters in this Crystron deck using Endless Trap Hell with some back row wall of disruption, needle ceilings, as well as to uh, Crystron impact. Um, also have the Cupid Volley in there to go as well with it, but uh, just more, more, a little bit more of a pure uh, a Crystron deck, not a mismatch with anything else like the last one was. <clears throat> but nonetheless, so Crystrons are making a little bit of noise this week. Uh, difficult to find too many decks uh, outside of Blue Eyes and, and Star Seraphs that are having a, a ton of success right now. Evil Eye, though, is actually having a little bit right now. Snek had a top four battle step finish with this build. Um, Evil Eye has a really good matchup against a few of the decks in the metagame right now. Uh, it can banish stuff out of the graveyard from Dark Lords. It can put up big monsters that can be difficult for Blue Eyes to get over. So uh, Evil Eyes right now are having a little bit of a resurgence just because they have some really good metagame matchups. Uh, it, it, I know uh, some, some people really hate this deck, other people do enjoy it, but yeah, it, it's just a thing right now because of just the current metagame state, so it is what it is. Not doing anything special right now. Um, so this is a deck that we featured last week, very similar to one anyways. This is a Metrop same player, Metropolis, same thing, a spicy win streak. Uh, last week though, this had a, we had a Star Seraph stick and chair version of this deck. Uh, this week we're featuring a more pure Frog Monarch version or deck here. Uh, same basic idea, you get your Treeborn Frog to the grave, bring it back for free material, bring out some more from your hand, uh, Battle and Box Reveal shenanigans, although this one we're running Level Dupe. Uh, instead of the Destiny draw in order to go into some uh, additional XYZ plays here, full XYZ deck, and uh, but yeah, interesting interesting take on the deck. You're, you're going to have a level 6 in your hand pretty often with Caius and uh, Dark Dust Spirit, so um, an interesting trick. If you didn't know what Dark Dust Spirit does, uh, every time you summon you basically clear out all monsters on the board, so it's actually a really, really powerful effect right now, kind of like a Vortex without having to, to, you know, to actually discard from your hand. Um, two soul exchanges in this version of the deck also. R really, really big fan of this deck. I played with this on stream last couple weeks, and I'm looking forward to playing with the, this version of the deck, the non-second chair version as well. Alright, next we have a Nordic sort of level 3 access deck, I guess you could call it, from Unnicknamed. It was a King of Games deck, and this is not using the sort of like the, the big god Nordic monsters that, you know, people love, unfortunately. Um, but we're, we're basically just abusing level 3s to make level 6 synchros and uh, level 3, uh, rank 3 uh, XYZ monsters. Uh, Crane Crane, Triple Wielder if they go for synchro plays. We've got a Blackwing monster thrown in here as well. Uh, so j just a, a mash of a whole bunch of different level 3 monsters that are, are useful for trying Trying to, you know, produce those powerful synchro monsters, which, which do have some pretty good effects. You know, for Million Dragon, Mech, Brio, Coral Dragons, Naturia, uh, Barkeon can really just shut down some decks that are running a lot of uh, trap-heavy things. So, definitely an interesting deck. I like some of these level three decks. I have one of my own I want to try out soon. All right, so every week we got to try out our what can we stick stick and share to this week to make it work out. And this week it's trap tricks. Uh, so this very very trap heavy deck, endless trap hell, as you can imagine. Um, it's I mean trap tricks are one of those decks that I think are going to be getting support in the near future at some point. It's sort of like one of those basic you know just X Y D deck. Get a rank four or get a level forty graveyard summon dynamic, bring it back. I link rank four exceeds. So um, I, I can definitely see this as a deck that's going to get support uh, at, at some point. Um, but even so, people will you know taking advantage of the star Seraph engine and all the back row trap cards. Uh, I just thought I'd feature this because I thought that this was just the, the, the most interesting of all the Star Seraph decks this week because, you know, there's always a couple uh, of interesting ones. We'll have another one later in the video as well. Um, Alright, Spellbooks. So, uh, this is a, a Ace Grimbus King of Games deck. Uh, 
three, you know, three, uh, three of your uh, princess in there, three of the blue boy. Pretty standard deck. We are getting a, an extra grand spellbook tower, but still only running one copy of it, so. Not, nothing too uh, original here. Nothing we haven't seen in the past, but spellbooks still, still, uh, still able to get it done in the right hands. All right, here's that other Star Seraph deck I mentioned earlier. This one's in a Valkyrie deck. There's actually a little bit of synergy here with the, the Valkyries being fairy type monsters uh, with Valhalla. Um, Valhalla is an uh, additional card you can put down to use with Sigrun. So there actually is a little bit of, uh, of synergy here between these two decks. So it's not the worst idea. Definitely not the best way to play Star Seraph, but it, it, again, there's it's a little bit uh, more, more to it with this deck. So um, interesting, I'm a huge fan of Valkyrie, so glad to see another build. Alright, now this we have from Silent Sea, a King of Games deck that was a, a, a I guess we call it a Synchro Toolbox, I think is what, what they called it. Um, basically, we're just using the Driver Engine as well as the Psychic Wielders. Um, we're making the, what's it called, Old Entity Haster. Uh, basically, when Haster, let me re read the card here. Uh, so basically, if it's sent from the monster in the graveyard, you target a face of monster your opponent controls, equip it from a graveyard to that monster. That monster can't attack and its effects are negated. And if this card leaves the field while it's equipped, you take control of it. So basically, you're going into uh, this level 4 synchro, getting it to the grave, equipping it, and then you know, popping it, or stopping your opponent's monsters with it, popping it, get, stealing their stuff. Um, it's just an inter know, it's just an interesting deck. I know I, I, some people are fans of the driver, people who like synchro decks. Um, I'm not particularly familiar with them. I've, I picked them up, just haven't had a chance to play with them too much yet. Uh, but they're just another interesting deck I've had feature. Um, and last but not least, released Vendred. Um, now this is a deck I really don't know anything about. It's one of the few decks I don't have at all. Um, I've seen though a few having success though, a few hitting king games here more than you usually see within a, a week or two period. So I, I thought I'd just feature one of these decks just because it's been popping up a little bit more than you usually seen in the past. Not that it's like a huge part of the meta game right now because nothing is a huge part of the meta game besides Blue Eyes and Dark Lords. Hopefully this new box will change a little bit, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, those two decks seem like they're just going to be running rampant, especially uh, Star Seraph Dark Lord just got a lot better. Um, but even so, so I, I, like I said, this deck had a little bit of success this week, so I just kind of wanted to feature it because it, it got a few extra uh, cog finishes than normal. Um, but that is it for the decks of the week. We should be back with this video at our normal time starting on Monday next week. There's a lot of really cool decks I'm, I've already seen for next week's video that I'm excited about. Um, but normal daily uploads continuing. But thank you guys for watching so much. Uh, and congratulations, of course, to everyone who had success this week and got their videos featured in this uh, week's video. All the COG all the cog people hit COG in the last few days, um, as well as all the people who did well in tournaments. Congratulations. But thank you guys for watching.